Hey, what's going on dudes? I told you before I was going to make a little video about what I am bringing with me to Japan, so let's get to it. Um, set this up here. Okay, I guess that will have to work. So, starting with this. basic GoPro head strap for bike helmet, your mounting brackets for get the sticky adhesive shit on the bottom so you can stick it to a fucking car dash or whatever. More of the same, I got a a couple extra clips, mounting brackets here, wrist strap, and it looks like some sort of a, I don't know, like a, something to hang it with or something, a couple extra screws, whatever. Microphone, USB powered. Konami. Android. Moto Droid X2. This is what I'm bringing with as far as uh, for my Wi Fi and YouTube uploads. And it's got my pedometer application, altitude, compass, uh, Japanese translation applications, um, magic, the gathering bullshit. Japanese English dictionary, weather, um, radar, um, news, you know, standard issue, but I wiped it out before um, I'm going on this trip. I completely put a custom ROM on it in the whole nine yards, so it's my own my own little setup. It's all freed up, all space and all that shit. Got the otter box to go with that. Uh, this is the suction cup mount for the GoPro, uh, clip it onto a window or whatever, clamp it down, lock it into place, adjust it, and you can get like action video from looking out the window, you know, off the train, car, whatever. This is probably the most important piece right here. This is the bicycle mount. This thing goes on like the handlebars or the front fork, rear fork. The uh, the rear fender has like a like a rack. We can mount it on there too. Um, sleeping bag, smoke if you got them. Plus rainproof cover for the sleeping bag. Uh, I wanted something thin. Uh, it's the summertime in Japan. It's very fucking hot and very humid. There's no reason to bring like your typical Montana mountain style sleeping bag that's thick, you know, because it's cold in the mountains up here, uh, usually significantly colder there, and there's a lot less humidity. So uh, here's a t-shirt that I pulled out of my backpack because I was wearing it yesterday. My hat. Can't find my black one, so this one's going to have to do. And... As you can see, this is my backpack. Uh, it's pretty much loaded with almost everything I can get into it right now. I've got a uh, Soviet-era water bottle I got from uh, the Ukraine. Bringing this with me, it's cool. It's got a little lid on it, so no contaminants and shit can get in it. It's also sealed, rubberized on the inside too, so nothing will leak out. Very cool. Um, Kind of big. It's too bad I won't be able to fill this up on the plane and uh, bring it with me so I can bring home or bring some of that water from home and get a little taste of home. Fucking TSA. Fuck you guys, man. So, what else do I got in here? We'll just go through and empty it, and then what I'll do is I'll repack it and I'll put it on like fast forward so you can get an idea how much shit I can squeeze into this and how big of a pain in the ass that is. Hopefully, the TSA. Is it going to make me empty my backpack when we get to the airport and dig through all my shit because it'll take me like 20 fucking minutes to reload it or whatever. So here is 
booking receipt for my flight. Um, I haven't printed out my boarding pass yet because we still got about 12 days to go. I just keep this with me. Bandana, a uh, fairly important piece of equipment. Uh, keep you dry, keep your hair out of your face. You know, uh, hot topic. Shout out. Not the one here because they fucking ruined my store. No joke, it's, it sucks in there now. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look what else I got in here. Um, microfiber cloths, I got like three of these. These are very handy, clean your glasses. Um, that is my bike application that keeps fucking beeping, so I'm sorry, that's annoying. Bring a couple of these, clean the camera, clean your phone, clean your glasses, uh, very handy. Uh, let's go ahead and open this fucker up and see what we got. Oh, also on the outside here, I put the uh, wrist strap for the GoPro. It can kind of help me keep the uh, shoulder straps together if I want it to. Also operate it sort of like the GoPro bra without the fucking bullshit that, you know, straps and all that that goes over it. And kind of keep the shoulder straps together and keep the backpack higher up on my shoulders uh, instead of hanging down here, which is no, no bueno. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. So, first things first, <coughs> I brought my bag, extra bag. It's like an over shoulder bag. Um, this came from the same place where I got this uh, water bottle from Russia with love. I'm going to read right there. You know what I'm talking about? <coughs> And throw this over my shoulder and throw like, you know, clothes or whatever and kind of lighten the load off of my back. Um, it's just sort of a secondary bag. But I figured I would need it. Should come in handy. Um, analog Blackberry. This is a basic notebook. To keep track of, you know, whatever I need in here. Very handy. Write shit down, you know. Uh, cool restaurant stuff or whatever, uh, cool sites to see, cool businesses, shit I want to talk about, you know, a couple of words that I learned while I'm over there. Got my uh, laptop power cable and adapter. Here's the deal. In Japan, they do not have three-prong adapters or, or outlets, so you need to get an adapter for this to make this into a two-prong because this fucker will not work in Japan like uh, we have over here in the States. So, I have to think about grabbing one of those little two-prong adapters for this. Um, what else do I got in this pocket here? I got a uh, Y cable, 3.5 millimeter to two 3.5 millimeter female inputs there. That's a splitter for the laptop so that me and my traveling companion can both listen to the audio um, as we, uh, watch videos, review footage, whatever. Um, got my, I don't need to show you my credit card numbers, but got my driver's license. I'm going to bring this along just because it's sort of third form of identification beyond just the passport. Um, looks like that's all I got in this pocket here. So let's move on to the next pocket. You can see I got these cool clips, sort of squeeze the backpack together, make it take up a little bit less space um, for when I get on trains and shit like that. First thing you see when you open this up is I got another bag. This is like a waterproof little pouch. Um, got this from my folks. It's like a fucking AARP, American Association of Retired Persons thingy they got while they were uh, traveling somewhere. So what I got here is in this first pocket, I got, uh, I got quite a bit of shit actually. Try and maximize my space here. I got one extra double A for my mouse. I have a wireless mouse for my laptop. I got this uh, two prong USB power cord. This can handle my cell phone. Um, various other electronics, Bluetooth, headset, MP3 player, whatever. Um, 
I bought a three pack of batteries for my cell phone, for my droid, off of eBay for like, I don't know, 12 bucks. And it came with this charger, which has just also a two prong. It also has the USB here on the bottom. And I can charge all of my batteries in advance. Um, these two are fully charged and I have them wrapped in plastic just so that they can avoid getting wet. And uh, I can keep those charged and then when my phone dies, I get roughly between eight and 12 hours worth of battery life depending on how much I use my phone. I can swap those out, quickly reboot the phone and keep going. Um, 12 bucks, fucking screaming deal. This has a uh, 5.2 volts, 800 uh, milliamps. That should be good enough to handle charging the GoPro also without overvolting it. Total bonus. Um, got a couple of USB, micro USB cables here. This is a two to one. This is for my um, external USB DVD burner. Laptop I got doesn't have uh, USB 3.0 ports on it, so this provides a little bit extra power to make sure that it's got enough juice to power the burner. Uh, here's just your standard issue micro USB, nothing fancy about that, just an extra one. I actually brought, as you'll see here, I've brought quite a few of these along because uh, they fail. And it's better to have a couple extra just in case so I don't have to fucking buy anything. Well, as I open this up, Try to. There we go. And you will see that I've got uh, a couple of more bundles of cables. This is a Bluetooth headset uh, plus the funky adapter for plugging that into the USB power. Um, we got just, uh, I zip tied all these together. These are the extra micro USB cables. There's about three of them plus a data cable for my phone. This also matches uh, So's phone. So both of us can do data transfer between the laptop and um, the phone, or we can plug it into the charger. If we need an extra charger, we have that extra cable there. Um, I got four USB sticks in here. Um, this isn't exactly a waterproof white Ziploc bag, but it just lets me keep all together without the shit hanging loose. You can see I got one, two, three, four here. Uh, this one right here is a 16, this is a 32, and these are both uh, 128s, uh, both of these white ones here. So that's a little bit extra space. The laptop that I got only got about 250 gig hard drive space. so. Bringing this essentially more than doubles the uh, storage space that I have capacity wise. I just keep it in this little bag so that it takes up a little less space in here. And as you'll see when I'm trying to repack this backpack, I need as much space as I can get my hands on. Continuing on, we have the uh, Asus USB DVD burner. Nothing fancy about this, just gets the job done. Uh, I got this pretty cheap, about 30, 40 bucks. Uh, I use it for my business. Uh, people's computers don't have the burners or whatever and I need to back up their data. This fucker comes in real handy. I'm gonna flip this over here. And what else do I got in here? I got the waterproof back piece for the GoPro. Uh, currently the skeletal back piece is on there so that I can access the USB port on the back. I got the little fucking thing for the micro USB card that goes into the GoPro. I'm bringing three micro USB sticks. I got a four and eight. One's in my MP3 player. That's the four. I got an eight in my phone, and I got a 32 in the GoPro. Uh, we might pick another one or two of these up. Keep these fuckers with me just in case because these things are tiny and you can lose them. So this helps to keep track of that shit. Uh, plus it's got the extra blank slot for the laptop slot where the adapter goes into and I just keep that in there. I've got two of these. Uh, USB mouse runs on one double A, pop this open, you can uh, replace the battery, on off switch, no big deal. Uh, 
uh, it's just a laptop that I got some crappy little tiny little Acer netbook and it doesn't uh, have a very fucking user friendly touchpad uh, interface there so definitely useful um, and that's pretty much all I got in here essentially this uh, this bag right here holds most of my electronics it's got this clip here so I can take it off or take it out of the backpack hook it on a little carabiner or whatever um, hook it on the outside hook it onto the front basket or whatever on the Mala Chatty um, works it's waterproof also uh, for the most part not this front pocket but the rest of it is and store all my cables and shit in there um, moving on extra pack of matches new toothbrush Tic Tacs. One, two, three chapsticks. Because it's going to be hot and I know that I'll need them. Fresh breath is never a bad thing. Uh, I'm packing. I can't pull these out because it's a pain in the ass, but I got uh, in each one of these slots, I got. 10 business cards, 10, 20, 30. This is my little tin for my business cards, and I got another um, 30 business cards in this back pocket, as you'll see later. This um, front pocket here has like these little mesh pockets, too, and that's where I store, you know, toothbrush, identification, credit card, book matches, chapstick, whatever. Also brought the uh, nail file. In case I get caught up on anything and need to file the nails down. Um, anything else in this front pocket here? Oh yeah, flashlight, LED, powered by two triple A's. Got it hooked on here so that I don't lose it. A couple of pens. I got a sharpie. Um, your uh, standard issue metal point, fucking blue, and your basic blue pen here. Also. And then in here, I have another microfiber cloth, still in the plastic, so that it, no matter what doesn't get wet and soaked. And probably the most important piece of equipment in this backpack for my trip is my passport. Got to have this at all times on me in case I get stopped by the cops or whatever. They're going to want to see my identification, and there that is. So. That's this pocket. Let's go on to the next pocket. Um, this is the main pocket on the backpack, as you can see here. And pull this up here. This is packed very, very tightly. Um, as you can see, I've got this headphones port here for these headphones that I have in the backpack already. I've got my MP3 player right here. I can just disconnect this shit so that I can not have this thing in my way. Basic MP3 player has a micro USB slot on the bottom, USB powered on the top, headphone jack, uh, like two gigs internal storage plus a few gigs on the uh, four gig here, and that's plenty enough for all the music that I'm going to be bringing with me. Uh, headphones. Now we got an extra hand towel. This is gonna be very handy, uh, very humid over there. Wipe myself down, sweating like a motherfucker. Uh, you know, when it's too hot, I can get it wet. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, standard issue, don't forget to bring a towel. Very important piece of equipment. Uh, a pair of pants, right here. My magic deck. Blue green infect. I'm bringing this with me. Uh, hopefully, play some kids, meet some uh, Japanese kids who play magic and make some new friends. You can see business cards, as I was telling you before. It's a pretty easy way to exchange contact information in Japan. Just give them a business card or use it for notes, right on the back of it, whatever. It's small, convenient, everybody does it, no big deal. Uh, Brought a beanie, in case it gets cold when we're camping up in the mountains. Go Vikings.
Got my Favre jersey for sure. You knows it. You knows it. Bringing that motherfucker with me. Got a pair of sweatpants. Apparently I have cat hair all over them. Uh, standard issue, nothing fancy about those. Bring those too. Um, another pair of pants. As you can see, I roll everything up so that I can kind of maximize my space. These are basically like your standard issue. They're thin, real thin. They got the drawstring at the ankles so I can kind of pull them up and, you know, basically like shorts. They got the cargo pockets. Nothing fancy about these. Just thin, not too heavy. Uh, the reason I'm bringing sweatpants is because they'll be like my what I sleep in or whatever. Uh, another pair of pants, very similar. These got the uh, you know, breathable material. Perfect for you know hot temperatures, bicycling, etc. We got uh, the first T-shirt. I'm bringing along with me, as you can see. Mostly black stuff because that's how I roll. But this is my HK T-shirt. Pretty badass, thanks for this Patrick, you're awesome. HK is a gun manufacturer, in case anybody was wondering. They make a badass uh, pistol or three. Pair of socks. Another t-shirt. Go Vikings. Draws. 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 I'd probably save a little bit of space if I wanted to rock the G-string, but, uh, you know, I got big balls. So, socks, socks, tank top, more socks, two pair, go Vikings. Another tank top here. that's it for my clothes. Uh, the only other thing that I'm missing there is I'm wearing this shirt here that I'm wearing here right now. Um, this will be what I wear when I get on the plane because I want two long sleeves because I do have tattoos and I want to be respectful and not sort of, uh, you know, get anybody thinking I'm like Yakuza or something like this. Um, last pocket, laptop. This thing isn't great. Got it from my buddy Roy. He gave it to me and it had about 400 viruses on it. Despite the fact that I fixed it and removed all the viruses previously, still gave it back to me with viruses because he apparently doesn't use the utilities that I put on here for him to keep it clean. Um, nothing fancy about it. It's like uh, you know, 11 inch netbook, 250 gigs. It's got one, two, three USB ports. Uh, this is a Bluetooth dongle this is the keyboard uh, or the wireless mouse uh, adapter thing got the adapter for micro USB plug that in there I have the battery out of it now because I have the battery fully charged so um, that is right here last thing in the bo bottom of that pocket uh, this is the extended battery I keep this fully charged I just run this off of the power that way I don't have to dig all the way to the bottom of the fucking lap, uh, laptop pocket here to get the battery out. And as you can see when we get inside, it's basically empty now. Uh, there's nothing else in here. To the best of my knowledge, pretty much empty. Uh, show, kind of show you my backpack. It's got these uh, cushion padding on the back. Uh, so also on the inside of the shoulder straps. Um, kind of help me carry the weight. And the coolest thing about this backpack, the reason that I bought this backpack, is on the bottom here, it has this pocket. And this is like a rainproof cover. You just slide this over the front of the lap, or the uh, backpack, like this. And boom. All of your electronics are more protected because they no longer have to get soaked by the rain. Um, take it off, 
slide it back into that pocket again, and you're good to go. So, as you can see, this is kind of uh, kind of everything here. Um, nothing too fancy. I got about five days worth of clothes. Um, the suitcase, I'm bringing the suitcase with me, but I think the only things I'm going to put in that are um, the mounting brackets for the GoPro, uh, the sleeping bag, and the rest of the space in here will be probably for So's stuff that he can't fit in his suitcase and omiyage which is like uh, gifts things that we'll bring from montana to japan with us uh, and then give to people so um i'm going to uh sort of line this stuff out here and get it set up and then i'm going to make a little brief video that i'll edit together with this and show you like how long it takes me to pack and it'll be like on uh, sped up mode or whatever so all right we'll be right back